So today we're going to learn how to disassemble and clean your RI helmet. After riding around a hot and humid Austin, Texas, and also enjoying a track day in my Corsair X Nakagami replica, it was in need of a good freshen up. So now I'm going to show you how to clean your RI helmet. And before you get started, work in a clean area and place a soft cloth or towel down to prevent any damage to the shell or visor. Okay then, let's get started. On the inside of the helmet, peel back the corner of the cheek pad to reveal the underneath. Here, you will see where the neck roll connects. Gently pull back the tongue tabs from the corner and then pull out the front of the cheek pad from the EPS liner. Same with the rear and then gently remove. Next, unsnap the headliner. It's held in with four yellow snaps. Remove the neck roll by pulling out the tongue tabs at the front and then twisting the neck roll in a clockwise direction. Then remove. Remove the chin strap covers by unclipping the yellow plastic from the metal and then sliding them off. The chin curtain can be easily removed by twisting it anti-clockwise and remove. Remove the rubber breath guard by lifting up gently but firmly. You can further remove the cheek pad cover for extra cleaning which also reveals the 5mm peel away layers for microfitment. OK, that's it for the interior. Now, let's prepare the exterior. First, open the visor, and then push back the black release tab to pop off the sight pod. The sight pods can also be disconnected from the plastic cord by sliding it out and removing. Lower the visor until the brass pin aligns with the red hole. Pop out the visor and remove. Unscrew the two clear screws and then the base plate will simply pop off. Now your RI helmet is disassembled, it's now ready for cleaning. So now get a tub of warm water and a microfiber towel. Simply submerge in warm water and gently squish all of the soft parts clean. The shell can be fully submerged for up to one minute. All vents can be cleaned by pouring warm water through the holes to flush them clean. Wash, drain, refill and repeat these cleaning steps as many times as necessary. When cleaning, always avoid machine washing, chemicals or cleaners as these can damage the helmet and the internal components. So again, only use warm water. Once the helmet is clean, then allow all parts to air dry. Avoid using excessive heat, as this can damage the helmet and its parts. The reinstallation is simply the opposite of the disassemble. For the interior, Push the breath guard back into place between the chin liner and the chin bar. Slide back the chin strap covers and click the yellow tabs into the metal hold. Install the neck roll by lining it up and then pushing down on the three tabs at the back. Push down until they click into place. At the front of the neck roll, slide the large tongue tabs under the chin spoiler mounting plate. The cheek pads can be installed by sliding the chin strap through the hole and then sliding the tongue tab at the back of the cheek pad behind the EPS liner. Then click the front white tab into its receiver. Now lift up the corner of the cheek pad and slide the small neck roll tongue tab into place. The headliner easily snaps back into place with the four yellow snaps. For the exterior, reattach the base plate to the shell by screwing in the two clear screws, but don't fully tighten just yet. Slide the tether cord back onto the side pods. Now fit the visor by aligning the brass pin with the red hole on both sides 
then lifting up the visor to drop the brass pin into the track. To fit the visor to the eye port correctly, first close the visor, then turn the helmet onto its side. Slide the visor and the base plate towards the rear, and while keeping pressure on the base plate, tighten the visor and the base plate using the clear screws. Do this to both sides. Attach the side pods, and then open and close again to check the mechanism and correct install. For a more in-depth visor installation, check out our RI visor change video. And there you have it, a fully disassembled, cleaned and reassembled RI helmet. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe and all that good stuff. So what we've got here is basically a certification from who built this helmet. So you've got the name of the guy that made it and also uh, the lot that it came from and date. These can be traced back to everybody who's been involved in the making of this.